support here. Be interested to know what the attendance is overall. I'll find out a little bit later. 18 minutes in here at the Hive. It's Barnet nil, Southend United nil. But it has been an entertaining nil-nil so far. I know a lot of you haven't been able to see the pictures, but hopefully you're back with us now. If you have commented on Twitter, by the way, I have asked a question. Let me know if you can see the pictures again. Here it comes. That's Mark Shelton. Picked up by Colin indeed in the South End goal. I've been told it's working now. Thank you, Alex. I've been told Thank it's you. working. I did, I did, yes, I've gone out on Twitter as well. So uh, a couple of people have gone. Please do keep your comments coming in as well. Do you want to uh, hear from you guys? Remember that quiz question no. as well. Or well, well, maybe there's something we don't know about the way to approach him. But Chapman here shoots. Chapman oh! scores! Come on! Chapman is deserved that, oh, hasn't he? Yes. He has. He's been absolutely everywhere for Barnet. He's and he's been rewarded. Him. What a goal that. He's absolutely, again, he's talked about his threat. And it's an unbelievable, unbelievable goal. Very, very happy with that. Uh, Harry Chapman, first goal of the season. He gives the Bees the lead here. And it sent the Barnet fans into absolute raptures here. The right for the home side. And here is Noor Hussain, he's got space. Waldron's trotting forward. Here's Jack Bridge. Didn't see too much of Bridge in that first half, but he started lively, trying to get the ball in. It looks like it's going to be a corner for South End. It is. It was well done by Jack Bridge, actually. I thought the ball had gone out already. I thought it was uh, Hall Johnson who got his foot onto it to knock it out for a corner. I didn't realise he'd actually got the ball in. And it was Nick Hayes, the Barnet goalkeeper, who just had to make sure it was out. Corner. The South End right in front of Chapman. Oh, well cut away though by Crozer. Needed to get that as well. Here's Hall Johnson. Dangerous oh. ball across the face of goal. Indeed, couldn't quite get anything on it. It races over though, and that is going to be a goal kick for South End. But just goes to show you give Reese Hall Johnson a little bit of space, and magic can happen, Alex. Yes, we've missed him over the last few games. He, was, he had a really, really bright pre season, um, got injured, uh, and has slowly. Come back into his first play. start. So like we, we start playing our youth teams in those. But I remember, you know, having his stead. Here is Callum Stead. Still Stead. He's got Zach Brunt on the overlap. Here's Zach Brunt. We know what he can do with the ball. Callum Ooh. Stead with the strike. It's locked. It's out for a corner. Great play though by the Bees. Yes. Very good hold up by Brunt again. I like seeing him in those areas. And I think over the last two games, he's grown into those areas really, really well. He's got more involved in that attacking output. And that there is is the reason that was Miley. Moncour, Bridge, going to toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hall Johnson. Lovely little flip back there to Nathan Rout, the captain. Bridge. The ball comes in. Oh, I thought it was away. Surely it's got in. Massive deflection there. Gus Scott Morris is reeling away in absolute delight. But I think he might have come off a Barnet player. Yeah, I think it was slightly deflective again. You spoke about Gus Scott Morris and his effectiveness in the box as a wing back, and he's he's shown it here today. Uh, you know, the goal was coming. It was coming, and it's it's finally come. Flair's in front, in. playing it all the way through. Is he held back? Is that a penalty? Surely it is. I'm not so sure. I can have too many arguments with that. You do that in the box, you drag somebody down, you're going to give away a penalty. I think it's Shelton who who's wants it. Shelton does get it. Well, penalty has been given. Oh, I thought, what? Was it Taylor? Or uh, Scott Morris there who dragged... Uh, I'm not sure, it's a really clever way, of, a clever way of getting a foul. I'm pretty sure it was Taylor. Just a clever, clever way of winning the foul there. Well, what a second half we're having here, Alex. It's a penalty for Barnet. It's against the run of play as well. Don't get me wrong, I think it is against the run of play. Um, a call for offside as well there uh, throughout. Mark Shelton oh, for Barnet. The nerves inside the hive. Mark Shelton to restore Barnet's lead. Took the lead through Harry Chapman in the first half. Mark Shelton. Can he get himself on the score sheet for the first time this season? Shelton. Scores. Calm as you like. Mark Shelton converts the penalty and it's fired it to Savage United 1. Yes, it's huge for him. Right? We, we signed him from a fairly unsuccessful time at, at Hartlepool where, you know, we, we 
side of it and you wanted his output to be better in terms of assists, goals and today he's been outstanding and I think that goal will give him loads and loads of confidence. Ball's yeah, coming into the box, it's going to go all the way through and surely, surely now that yes. is going to be it. Yes, Greg Rollison blows for full time here and Barnett have held on for the win. It's been all the penalties and that was enough. Alex, what did you make of all of that? I think it was a really good game of football to watch for the neutral. Tactically, I think Southland were unlucky in that second half not to get...